What's going on guys? Scarf Chomp Gaming and today we've got the Crocolar content. A few battles here in today's video as you've already seen him in a few of the other ones. Um, here he has a little more play time. But uh, yeah, last of this team uh, that we will see before we move on to our rain team next week that we had some fun with on Twitch. Um, looking forward to hearing your guys' thoughts on this team and uh, I'm sure you're sick of it by now. And uh, like I said, same rental team that we've been using all week. But uh, definitely giving Crocolar the spotlight a little bit more. Um, this team's pretty solid other than the Dun Sparse. Uh, we probably could have done a much better build. Uh, I just was like uh, Terra Normal Boom Burst uh, goes burr. But uh, obviously we didn't really bring it and didn't really use it. But yeah, let's check out this Crocolar video, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I uh, would greatly appreciate a like and a comment and a subscribe. It helps grow the channel. And if you are already subscribed and want to help, a comment goes a long way. Other than that, guys, let's hop into those battles and let me know what you think. I do not have the slightest clue what to do here. With the Sableye, like, what are you going to do to me? Do I bring Goldango? Oh, Rocky Helmet, Garchomp. I think that's what he wants, though. Like, what if we go Crocolore? What if we do that? What would he do? How would he react? I don't think he's ready for the Crocolore. I think we bring Garchomp and King Gambit because the Dragonite's there. Every time I see the Dragonite, I'm not in love. I, I just don't know what to expect. Like, I don't think I've ever run into a Sableye in ranked singles this this uh, since owning this game. So what's it going to do? Is it going to quash? Because that's only good for doubles. Leads the Gudra. Not great for us. However, I am just going to burn it. Okay, like I said, plus I'm kind of interested to see what move you're going to use. Let's see what it uses here again. See if it uses flamethrower. Okay, it goes for acid spray. We definitely don't want that. Here's where it's like, I don't think it would go for, I, I could see it going for a dragon type move. I don't think it would go for uh, a fire type move again. I don't see that happening. It did though. Like, what planet are you on that you think that's a good move? I can't believe you went for the flamethrower again. I, I would have swapped in the Garchomp had I known that. Now you're either terrestrializing or you're gonna stay in. We're just gonna sucker punch. I just want that damage. I don't think you have any way to heal, but I'll just switch back into Crocolar at that point. Like. I think your assault vest possibly. Okay, withdraws, so that's a good withdrawal for us because we can still keep our sucker punching King Gambit. And here is that stupid thing that I was kind of worried about. I have no idea what to expect from that. I'm just gonna flamethrower. I don't wanna get locked into a status move, like if it uses trick or who knows what. Remember when I said if it uses Trick? <laughs> what do we get? Legging Tail? We were going last anyway. Now our defenses aren't as good, but I think we're still worthy. 
Probably has recover. Uh, we don't have much attack, so yeah, that was just a bad play. On your part. And we get the burn there. Is that enough to take it out? I think it's going to survive with a sliver, yeah. The burn was pretty nice, though. Crocolar is pretty good, even without this Evil Light. Um, I think he's just going to show me his recover here. Maybe just even... I could see our opponent just quitting, too. Withdraws, this is probably Gudra. Now, I would say between that and the burn, I don't think Gudra has another round in her. I am going to slack off. I have not revealed that I have that yet. I don't think Gudra has any form of recovery. Ow! Oh, Crocolore! Oh, Crocolore! Yes! You son of a gun, you did it. You did it without your EVO light. I'm evolving this thing after this match. Like, how do you not how do you not hit the slack off here? What a stud. What an absolute stud muffin. Now hold on. How does that work? It did more damage after its special attack dropped? Or am I am I missing something? I think we'll just go into guard chomp. Am I missing something there, folks? Ooh, it's the flying duck thing. Here's the thing. He could swap into... Uh, Uh, I just don't know here. I don't think he can one-shot us. Not at full HP. Did it do 75% for him? But then it, got cut, it gets cut in half. What's half of 75%? No, because I was at like 110, right? 118, I think, was my HP. And I went down to 4. I did 114. I feel like it did way too much. So he's going for a close combat here. Ooh, us going into uh, us going into poison type here looks pretty smart. It is choice scarf. Oh, we ate that up. His defense falling and his spadef falling too, that's huge because now we get the rough skin and the rocky helmet and now we're about to hit him with a poison jab and I went with poison jab in case he swapped out so he used an outrage and yeah we just take out the old bird. <sighs> I don't think it was 75%. We're going to have to look at that one again. I guess in the grand scheme of things it's not going to matter but... Isn't that thing Dark Fairy? Dark Ghost, uh, whatever, Earthquake. Look how much bigger we are than Sableye. Silly. Our opponent just cancels the batter. battle. They know better. I mean, what are you doing with a Sableye? So looking at this team here, Crocolore is going to be a good lead. Um, it's kind of predictable. I could see them thunder waving or setting up their stealth rocks with uh, their Tinkaton if they lead, decide to lead that. They're either leading Tinkaton, Mouse Yarda, or the uh, Fireboy. But I think Crocolar is a good lead. Uh, Goldango is okay here. I'd much rather think I think see King Gambit, and then like just Garchomp's good. Although with the uh, Ice type, I guess we can always Terrestrialize. 
We do have our boy Kokolar. Yeah, not every day you see a Glaceon. Not every day. And there's the take a ton lead, kind of like we predicted. Um, yeah, it's got Mold Breaker, that's fine. I think we'll just go for a flamethrower here. It's gonna knock off our EVO light, that does suck. Um, wow, we didn't do much of nothing. I guess I'll go for the Will O Wisp. At least this way he can't do a whole lot to us. So now I can hit our flamethrower. Well, that's annoying. I don't see the po I don't see the point of that. Bring in Garchomp. We're gonna take some rock damage, which is fine. Um, knock off, that's fine. He can get hit by my rough skin. And my rocky helmet, even though you just Sent to the moon. Whatever. Um, let's go with the, actually, yeah, let's hit the fire fang. Just in case, I, I could see them going into uh, Dragonite here. So I want to at least do damage. Goes into Rotom. So we're still gonna do damage. Oh, and he's got a Rocky Helmet. I'm just going to go for an Outrage here. Would love to get Rotom out of there. I don't care about the Rocky Helmet. Goes for an Overheat. So now he's got two options. He can either stay in and die to this Outrage. All right, he can switch into his Tinkaton. And I will just, actually we're in a pretty good position right here. Okay, he does end up withdrawing, which is, it's either into Dragonite, or his Tinkaton. And this is fine, that it is his Tinkaton. Because we can just hit Earthquake. And our opponent just quits, so probably realized he can't win. So I think Crocolar can just win this game for us. Like I really, I really do. Honestly, he's pretty solid. We're bringing Hydrogen here. And it's like, do we bring Garchomp? I don't, I don't know that we do. King Gambit's just as good, right? I think so. All right, Crocolore's just a great lead here. There's like nothing that wants to go up against us. And even, even if he brings Garchomp, and he's gonna hit that earthquake, like we'll just Terra. Bring Garchomp. Perfect.
You know what? Let's just see. He might even, he might not even go for the earthquake. Okay, he went for the earthquake. We didn't tear because I think we can survive it. Oh, we can't. I've survived a crit. Crit. What do you even do about that? I mean, yeah, now it's like, oh, I wish I had my Crocolore back. Like, I wish I could ter ter terrestrialize into grass type, but like, we, oh, you always survive that with like 40 some HP. But because you got a crit, we just get one shot at that's that's just unfortunate. Like, that's the stuff that can make or break a ladder, right? Like, okay, obviously he thought he was gonna be super effective there, and obviously he's not. How much is this gonna do? Enough for us to sucker punch. He almost go, yeah. As I say, you almost go Kato Cleave, Keeve. Earth called okay, Corvic Knight, that's fine. Ooh, this could still be bad because he might go for a body press. I mean we survive, but barely. Obviously, I'm gonna run the flamethrower. We are choice specs. We could potentially kill him. We don't. We can't even get the burn. There's the body press. Um, if I'm this Corvic Knight, I'm gonna roost. And we're gonna lose because of a first turn crit. So that's fun. I will go for the brick break here. There's no way he doesn't hit roost. What's for an iron defense? Interesting. Not what I would have picked. Yeah, I knew I knew for a fact the Rocky helmet was there. Like you're not fooling anybody. Personally, I think he's probably just going to uh, I think he's gonna hit bulk up, but we'll go for the sucker punch Okay, we actually hit so this Probably doesn't KO. Oh, doesn't even come close GG's Neutral damage because he's fighting type honestly we came close to winning that even though we got first turn critted like if we don't get first turn critted, that, that game, this match is over. Like, not even a contest. But we get critted and we lose, so it is what it is. Alright guys, there were the battles. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, again, the end of this team, we will be using some new teams here on out. Series 2 is coming up, so let me know what you want to see from Series 2. Uh, a lot of fun Pokemon and teams coming up. It will be an interesting format change, and we'll see how it goes. Other than that, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.